Hi, uh, this is a short introductory video to Dream of Ashes, which is my fourth um, Eldritch Tales compatible one page adventure. Um, so the structure is that you know a kind of threefold little brochure, and um, I'm quite happy to admit that the entire adventure is really written about around this um, image of the kind of Medusa clown. That's you know, the the one thing I really wanted to um, work into here. And what I've done is I took the basic stats of the um, Medusa and then rewrote it, reskinned it um, into both Eldritch Tales and um, of in, into the clown. And rather than turn people to stone, um, the gaze, if you, you know, um, make eye contact with the clown it condenses um the victims to uh, essential salts but the venom of the snakes will actually re revivify um the uh, essential salts that they've been at venom so the clown can effectively kill someone produce them to salt take those away store them in a larder and then it can revivify um the uh, victims when it, as it wants to feed them and then it's feeding on the um, uh, the bodies so um, that's that's the villain that, that's the, the problem to be solved um, right so what you have is um, a very kind of classic um, sort of uh, Lovecraftian um, beginning where the uh, characters are contacted by a NPC um, professor uh, by telegram saying that they might have a book, an unusual book that could be of interest to them. And then it's kind of working through the professor's notes. You know, what's he been working on? Um, you know, what's this strange stuff? And it kind of it mixes in a little bit of genetics and these um, the essential salts that um, the, the clown is leaving behind. And the professor's been working with uh, reptiles and their regenerative um, processes. Um, and this kind of, um, of the, the characters can pick up bits of, um, you know, on a success, successful intelligence um, feat, they can pick up, pick up bits of mythos lore um, and uh, clues about what's really going on. And then there's a ritual there to... Um, well, there's a couple of rituals. Um, the first one is the call of the clown, which is what the professor did. That's where it all went wrong for the professor. There is a second ritual there, which is a, a bit of a booby trap, and it actually summons a night gaunt. Um, so yeah, there, there's kind of some threats within the the laboratory. So they they're going to go from the professor's apartment where he disappears. There is a um, detective they can interact with there. Um, the professor's lab is where most of the clues um, can be found. Um, and then once they get onto the, um, the track of the clown, um, so they will, uh, they can find the clown's lair and if they are um, successful, they can revivify some of the uh, victims. Um, and then you've got Detective Torres, who has um, read a little bit too many of these notes, so he's not in a good way. And th that's kind of it. Um, so uh, Torres uses standard uh, stats out of the Eldritch Tales rules. Um, there's the stats of the clown. That's the photo of Torres there, um, quite a dapper chap. Um, Okay, so that's it. It's a one-page adventure. It's an investigation with several locations. Okay, uh, thank you for watching.